I'm Jake. And I'm Colin. You're watching Gas Guzzlers. And this is the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. Is this the best value in automotive history? We're going to find out. Let's get into it. In a world focused on sports performance and stiff suspension, Hyundai has gone against the grain and introduced a truly comfortable and relaxing flagship SUV that won't break the bank. But don't think that means the Palisade is old and lumpy like your grandpa's Cadillac. It's got some new age tricks up its sleeve. For example, I will now lock the vehicle, I will use the remote start feature, and we are going to activate remote smart parking assist. Here we go, there's a button on the key fob, I'm gonna push it, and watch this, the car will come to life and it's alive, it moves on its own. You know, Jake, that's cool and all, but why would I want this feature? I'm glad you asked, Colin. I went to Baltimore the other day and as you know, the spots there are rather small. Out of the corner of my eye, I spotted the teeniest, tiniest spot known to man and Adam would be jealous of this spot's girth. Alas, lesser SUVs or smarter drivers would have kept looking, but not me. I'm built different and the Palisade is built different too. Q Remote Smart Parking Assist. I simply exited the vehicle and parked it, and thus I did not have to worry about leaving enough room to open the driver's side door. I also like to use this feature to park in my neighbors because it's funny. Okay, this color, it is the best color on a car ever. I would do bad things for Robust Emerald. Jake, stop, do not elaborate, but didn't you say Soul Red was the best color on a car ever? Oh, it isn't Soul Red, look at it, it is beautiful. We specifically requested a car in Soul Red because it is the best color you could get on a production car right now. Fight me in the comments. This is it, there is nothing better, this is the pinnacle. That's true, I do, it's better than Ferrari. It's better than Ferrari Red. Guys, if you take one thing away from this video, it should be this color. Soul Red, Artisan Red. Soul Red, Artisan Red. It is so hard to tell now that Mazda has outdone themselves with a red color, potentially even better than Soul Red. No, I don't remember that. But you see, Robust Emerald is a wonderful paint color because it looks black, but then when the sun hits it just right, you get these beautiful green tints pulled out. Colin, you can attest to this. We've gotten tons of compliments while we've been driving this car around. People love this paint. Also, very important, it is available exclusively on the top tier calligraphy trim, so everybody knows that you are very fancy. The hints of green aren't the only subtle features of this exterior. It truly is a pretty car. The discreet blinkers jump from the grill to make for a delightful surprise and all of the lights are LED. Best of all the lights, the puddle lights truly give the Palisade a premium feel. And in a world where SUVs have become bulbous and round, the Palisade is distinctly squarish but sleek. Its bold style is further enhanced by touches such as the 20 inch wheel and the heated side mirrors. Colin, given we are at the back of the Palisade and you are holding a cooler, I assume we are here to tell the good people about the storage space of the Hyundai Palisade. That's right, but don't ask what's in the cooler. I wasn't gonna don't, ask. Don't ask what's in the cooler. So about the storage space in the Palisade, there's three ways to open the trunk. Of course, you have the traditional button. You can also use the key and hold it down to open it. And lastly, you can turn on the proximity feature. So if you have the key on you and you walk near the trunk, it'll open automatically. That sounds really annoying. So it doesn't just go off when you're standing by the back and you don't want it to? I mean, it might be a little weird, but it's a lot better than those clunky kick under systems where you have to find the sweet spot. And of course, if you don't like it, you can just turn it off in the infotainment system. Now, you're gonna have about 18 cubic feet of storage space with the third row up. And of course, that third row is power folded. Colin, what is in here? Jake, this I told you not to ask, chill. Anyway, once you fold that third row down, you're gonna get about 45.8 cubic feet of storage space. And if you fold the second row down, you're gonna get 86.4 cubic feet of storage space. Now that puts you in competition with the Ford Explorer. 
With a suede headliner and Napa leather, there are some great material choices here in the Palisade. There's also a visually interesting design up here running along the dash. The buttons are generally in intuitive spots, except for the climate control. You see there's a dedicated climate control screen here, which is flanked by your temperature knobs. And they're set up at just the right angle where if the driver goes to reach to turn the temperature knob, your hand actually blocks the temperature on the dedicated climate control screen. So you can't see what you are setting the climate to. It's kind of annoying. Also, some of the switch gear in here does not feel great when you touch it, especially the drive mode selector, but where the Palisade interior really shines is the second row. I agree, Jake. In the back of the Palisade here, you're going to see these captain's chairs, which are exclusive to the upper two trims of the Palisade. These also are heated and cooled seats. Those cooled seats especially are super rare to find on a vehicle at this price point. They're usually reserved for your higher end luxury vehicles. Of course, you have all the other standard amenities back here. You have the vents, you have your own climate controls, you have the 12 volt outlet and the standard household outlet. And these seats are super comfortable, especially the head vests. And they really contribute to the overall ride quality of this vehicle. Colin, things are extra crazy here in the rear of the Palisade. I mean, first of all, we both fit. Not only do we both fit, but we're cruising in style. We have power folding seats, charging amenities, plenty of vents, and that's not all. Jake, take a look at those buttons on your side. Is that what I think it is? Is that, that heated seats? That is what you think it is. In the limited and the calligraphy trims of the Palisade, you're gonna get third row heated seats. I mean, honestly, I'm taking some time to digest this, partially because of the heat stroke of sitting in this hot parked car, but also like, I just can't believe a car has heated third row seats. I'm flabbergasted. If that surprises you, wait till you see this. Colin? Yes, Jake? I know that McDonald's Sprite hits different, but this seems a little bit excessive. No, 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 Jake, you have it all wrong. See, this is a family vehicle, Jake, and what do families have? Dogs, soccer practice, family movie night? Not 14 cups of McDonald's Sprite. Well, Jake, your family was kind of lame then. All right, I'm gonna show you how good of a family vehicle this is by putting each of these 14 Sprites in each of the 14 cup holders in this vehicle. Now, last but not least, you have the center console cup holder, which you can press these two buttons on and it deploys. Perfect. While all the cup holders are cool, my personal favorite feature of the interior is the ambient lights. Unlike other cars, the Palisade implements them tastefully, and the whole system is customizable. You can adjust both the brightness and the color in order to achieve the aesthetic you desire. Jake, let's talk about some of the tech in the Palisade. Of course, we have to start with the most important system, this 12.3 inch infotainment screen. Yeah, with that widescreen format, your Apple CarPlay is gonna be looking superb. I'd have to agree, and normally we recommend that people stay in the CarPlay format. However, Hyundai has a really good system here. Yeah, the software here is really solid. It looks modern, it looks slick. My one complaint is I just complimented that widescreen. I'm gonna have to dock it a point here too as well, because when you pull up list of music or settings, the widescreen format makes it really hard to scroll through lists, because you know, you don't have much vertical real estate. Other than that, solid software. I have to say, to complement that software, you get some pretty good hardware. Now this isn't a glass screen, this is a plastic screen. I know I personally don't mind that, but Jake, I know you're not really a fan of that. I prefer the premium touch of the, like, the nicer feeling glass. However, I get why this is a good place to cut costs to offer consumers something they prefer about, or they would prefer more in other areas of the vehicle. But on the topic of hardware, I think the processor in here is great. It's a very snappy screen. And also while I don't like the cover material there, the actual um, panel they've used is clearly very high quality. It looks like a computer or phone screen, you know, good black levels, good contrast. It doesn't look cheap. I really quite like it. And there's also some really cool features. One of my personal favorite being quiet mode. And what this will do is it'll automatically lower the volume in the rear. So if people back there are sleeping, it'll be quieter for them. Of course, you can see this widescreen format allows you to have a little panel up here. And this is changeable. Right now we have navigation up. You can get a clock, you can get a compass, you can get your calendar, a bunch of other really useful features. The tech doesn't stop there. The Palisade has a second screen right in front of the driver. The gauges come to life each time you change modes. 
Being digital means the gauge cluster can provide useful information such as the presence of school zones or the current speed limit. Though we have found the speed limit recognition can be a bit finicky such as this instance where the car thought the speed limit was 100 miles per hour. It was actually 45 miles per hour and very close to a school. Above the gauge cluster is the heads up display, or HUD, which does the job, but the verticality of the windshield means the reflection of the projector for the HUD is almost always visible. The HUD shines when you are on the highway, displaying the vehicles around you and in your blind spot. Another great function of the HUD is the driver attention feature. If you are at a red light and you are on your phone and the light turns green, causing the car in front of you to pull away, the Palisade will provide an alert in the HUD, ensuring that you don't cause a backup and embarrass yourself and your family. Palisade presents great when not in motion, but when you get underway, some of its flaws show. Colin, on the road here in the Hyundai Palisade, I gotta say, when I first leaned into the power, I was a teensy bit disappointed. Yeah, especially in eco mode, there's like this really mushy part at the top of the pedal. It really creates a huge dead zone. I'd really advise people stay away from eco. Also, smart mode, I would advise people stay away from. It tends to hang in the revs. It's a little strange. Doesn't seem like it knows what you want. Um, I found sport mode and comfort mode were my two favorites. Sport definitely mitigated a lot of those concerns with pedal response, and comfort just seemed to be a happy medium. Um, but you know, yeah, this has, what, a 3.8 liter V6, putting out 291 horsepower, all four wheels. And it just, you gotta plan your merges a little bit more than you do with maybe some of the competitors. Yeah, and of course, Hyundai doesn't advertise this as a sporty vehicle. This is Fair. really, it's for comfort. I mean, and it's still getting respectable miles per gallon, about 19 city, about 29 highway. That's very good for a large SUV. I think we're in agreement on all of that, Colin. One thing we're also in agreement on, the ride is supremely comfortable in here. Pick any mode, really. The suspension does a fantastic job of soaking up the bumps. Yeah, I have to say, the suspension in this car really allows it to almost punch up in terms of class. I mean, this competes with some of the higher end luxury vehicles for just how comfortable the suspension feels. And you know what? The car does a great job of insulating you from the road noise as well. Um, it's real quiet. You can tell they put a lot of work into noise, vibration, and harshness here. Almost a little too good because you can hear a lot of creaking in the plastics in the dash when you go over things like speed bumps. So Jake, all the other Hyundais I've driven have had a lot of really cool safety features. I'm assuming this is the same? You are absolutely correct. In fact, this one goes a little extra far. Watch this. I'm going to put on the turn signal and Highway Driver Assist 2 is going to automatically change lanes for us. That is such a cool feature. That is sick, but does it have all the other standard safety features? You know it. So of course, Highway Driver Assist 2 is going to keep us centered in our lane. It's going to use your radar cruise control to keep you at the right speed. I also like that this has five bars of distance indicator compared to the standard three that most vehicles offer. So you can really dial in just how far you are from the car that you are behind. In addition, you have blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and a particularly favorite of mine is safe exit assist. Yeah, so that safe exit assist is really cool. So if you're ever parallel parking and you've parked next to a busy road, and you're getting ready to get out of your car, the cameras will look, and if they detect another car coming, they will engage the child lock so you cannot open the door. Other cool safety features, because there's a lot in the cameras especially that we have to talk about. So first of all, we have the cameras in here, right? So you take those, you have the drone view, it's like you're playing a video game, that's super cool. And of course, you have the normal top-down kind of hover view, and you also have your normal backup camera as well. Uh, in addition, we have this mirror up here, which is actually a camera, which I find to be really useful um, because, well, you don't see your kids in the back, you know, making a mess or whatever. I'm just gonna use this Highway Driver Assist 2 auto lane change. It's just too cool not to use. Um, but these camera features are so awesome and this vehicle is just packed up with tech, but it's been a long day of driving. Why you say we pull over and give our concluding thoughts? Let's do it. So Jake, to start this video, I posed the question, is this the best value in automotive history? Well, what do you think? 
It's a bold question, but it's a bold car, and I think it might just be. Now, there are problems with this vehicle, right? There's the creaking in the plastics. It's very audible. That's a problem when you're paying over $50,000. The keyless entry sensors here don't always work on the first try. It's very frustrating when you're in a parking lot and the vehicle isn't unlocking. And that consistency, or lack of consistency, I should say, does exist throughout some of the technical features of this vehicle. However, this vehicle is not made for the person using the keyless entry up front, it is not made for the person who hears the creaking in the dash, it is made for the people who sit back here. And for those people, this absolutely hands down is the best value in automotive history. Heated and cooled seats in the second row under $60,000, heated seats in the third row, I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle with heated seats in the third row. Folks, I think Hyundai's done it and we can absolutely give this vehicle, despite its flaws, two thumbs up. I have to agree, when Hyundai designed this vehicle, they weren't thinking about the driver, they were thinking about the passengers. And of course, this has been Gas Guzzler's Reviews. I'm Colin, that's Jake, and if you like our content, be sure to like and subscribe for weekly automotive content. We'll see you next time. <laughs>